Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial about creating a sort of lightning flash in Unity 3D. And you can use this for anything really, you know. If you want to simulate lighting, if you want to do a shock in a game, if you want to surprise the player with something, it'd be a good way to do something, maybe add some sound effects with it. Um, so first of all, what, we, what I've got in my scene is I've got first person controller, my scene, um, I haven't actually got anything called light, so we'll get rid of that so it doesn't confuse anybody. I've got one directional light, but I've turned this off. If I turn it on, now you can see my, sign, my scene lights up with some shadows. But for now, we'll just pretend that I've got the eerie sky, so it looks maybe a little bit thundery. So um, that's all I've got. Nothing major, nothing exciting. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to create a JavaScript, and we're going to call that lightning flash what we're going to do open up that in mono develop what we're going to do is create three new variables one variable called min time and set that to 0 0.5 and we're going to say variable thresh hold which equals 0 0.5 as well and then I'm going to make a new variable called my light and set that to a type light Oop, not lightning and then I will add one private variable called last time and set that equal to zero. So in the update function, what we're going to do is write if two brackets time dot time minus last time close the bracket is greater than min time close the brackets. Then under there we're going to say if random dot value is greater than threshold then we're gonna say light dot enabled is equal to true then we're gonna say else light dot enabled equals false and then we're gonna say last time is equal to time dot time and then we'll save that out and what we'll do is go back into unity and what we'll do on our directional light we'll add the lightning flash and then I'll add the directional light to the my light slot and then when we play the game what it's going to do is actually every so often based on our min and threshold amounts it'll do a flash by turning the actual directional light on and off and then you could set this and make it only activate when you go on a trigger and make it last a certain period of time. But that's all. That's really simple. And if you like the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.